Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about that the inevitable feelings that you're going to have after narcissistic abuse as far as feeling robbed and feeling slighted. Okay, so you're going to feel slighted and you are going to feel robbed after dealing with a narcissist. And this is because they're takers. We all know that narcissists are takers and they will take, 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 take until you have nothing else to give. They will take your last breath if they need that for supply. Okay. So we're going to feel slighted by how much the narcissist took. And, and they took it in such a manner that you end up feeling robbed as well. Why? Because they're using this false persona to get these things from you. And then when you find out who they really are, you feel robbed because you wouldn't have given those things to their true selves, but you were giving it to their false self when you thought the narcissist was somebody else. And when I say robbed, guys, yeah, we can we can factor in the material and the physical things that they took, but even more than that, we'll feel robbed of these intangible things. And it's far worse. If we feel like they've robbed us of our self-respect and our dignity. If you feel like they've robbed you of some of your self-esteem. Okay, and then you'll feel robbed in on other layers in which you may feel robbed of actually having, you know, had that genuine relationship, whether it was romantic. Okay, I didn't really have a loving husband or a wife, girlfriend or boyfriend, or if it was a family member or a friend or whatever way that you were dealing with this narcissist, you know that you were robbed of a pure, genuine positive experience or interaction between two human beings uplifting each other and sincerely caring about one another. That's not what the narcissist was giving you. They were giving you the illusion while they were doing the complete opposite behind your back and eventually in your face. Okay, so a lot of people feel robbed for that. Some of you have had long marriages and children and you've invested all this time and you feel robbed now. Like, wait a minute, I was with this person for 20 years. I have five kids with them and now I'm finding out you're a narcissist. Are you kidding me? Because you can't get that time back. So there's another aspect right there. In whatever ways you were dealing with this narcissist, you may feel robbed of time. And sometimes we're talking years that you've put into this toxic person that you can't go back and get. So yes, you're going to feel slighted and you will feel robbed. But the good thing that I can say is the intangible things that the narcissist robbed you of, you can get it back without getting it back from the narcissist. You don't need to see the narcissist to get those things back. You know, your pride, your dignity, your self-esteem, all those type of things, you can just dig within yourself and begin to do the work to build that back up in yourself. Okay, I mean, those material things, unfortunately, that might just be gone. But, you know, material things come and go anyway, and we can build those things back up. But I have heard some really horrible situations as well, where people have been left financially devastated. You know, most people do go through a little, some kind of financial setback after dealing with individuals like this. And then some of them is even greater than others. And my heart goes out to you because that's rough. You know, if they came in and ruined your credit, wiped out your bank account, your 401k, whatever they got access to, had you put cars under your name for them, 
of course, leaving you with the bill. So, you know, I don't want to minimize any financial woes or, you know, having a child or or many children with a narcissist. We know they're typically irresponsible, the lower range ones. And then the wealthier ones, they might fight you tooth and nail to pay child support because they want to keep every penny to themselves. So, you know, it's, it's inevitable. It's inevitable, guys, that you will feel slighted and you will feel robbed when you deal with a personality like this. But, you know, as I said, there's steps that we can take to combat that, to minimize it. Because, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and act like, you know, let's say you do all this work and you'll never have a, a moment of feeling slighted or robbed. No, it's quite possible that you will feel that way every time you think about the situation. But we can minimize it. We can minimize it a great deal. Okay, we can minimize it a great deal to where it's not going to feel like your day one or in the beginning. It'll just feel like it will feel in the end, like in hindsight. Yeah, you can look back and see. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that person did attempt to rob me of those things, but they were still within me, the intangible things. That's the thing about that part. Okay, they got that material thing and that they get nothing else. All right, guys, because, you know, I put a lot of positive videos up and I, this one is a positive one as well. But I do like to always, you know, um, make videos that talk about the full range of emotions and feelings that you are going to inevitably feel. I mean, we're all human here. And, you know, I firsthand can understand these feelings, guys, which, you know, provokes me to make the videos. But as I said, those intangible things that you felt like the narcissist robbed you of, you can rebuild those things within yourself and you don't need to deal with the narcissist to do that. You know, take the wisdom, take the lessons and keep it moving, keep it moving and don't break your no contact. You don't need any more rounds of this nonsense. All right, guys, I hope this video helps someone. And, um, you know, it's a process. It is a process. And you will have your moments and times, even if you've done much work, you will have moments and times where you think about it and you're like, man, that's, you know, it's really messed up. It's still really messed up. It will all be, it will always be messed up on some level, you know, because it was wrong. It wasn't nice. But again, the whole idea in the healing person process is that it's not going to devastate your life. It won't continue to devastate your life. You'll still be able to have happiness and joy. Your quality of life is not going to be sinking because you're like stuck in the past type of thing. All right, so watch out for that, guys. Watch out for feeling robbed, okay? Just watch out for that feeling. And just, you know, when you feel it, go ahead and sit in it. Connect the dots of what you're feeling robbed of and rationalize yourself through that. Because it's going to be logical reason why you feel that way. All right? So until next time, guys, take care.